An Elizabethan shipwreck emerges from the depths. Three metres towards us, understood. Only the second time in more than 400 years that these timbers have been out of the water. A section of the outer hull, eight metres long, weighing eight tonnes, a blackened, dripping skeleton. This is what the ship probably looked like when she was built around 1574. Not pretty now, but an historical and archaeological treasure. The care and precision of this operation to lift her from this lake on Horsey Island onto a low loader, indication of her value. She was probably a merchant ship because she was carrying a large amount of iron, scrap iron, as if it was going to a scrap merchant, and a large amount of tin and a large amount of lead. And warships don't tend to carry large amounts of those materials. It's hard to place where was it? What was it doing? Did it help fight the Spanish Armada? We don't know exactly. But what it does give us is an insight into Elizabethan merchant trade in the 1570s. The iron anchor, part broken off, was next to be slowly pulled up by a massive crane. Keep coming down. The ship sank in the Thames estuary and lay undiscovered until 2003. Eight years ago, she was brought to this lake. Today, the beginning of her final journey. This low loader will begin the 160 mile journey to Leicestershire tomorrow lunchtime. Then on Wednesday, the shipwreck will be lowered into a flooded quarry at Stony Cove, the star attraction of an underwater museum. This is Kerry Swain in Portsmouth for Meridian tonight.